there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic having you here with me again on another whiskey review video. Now in today's video I'm going to be reviewing another one of the samples that I have received from a good friend of mine. Um, and this sample is again from the Korowa Distillery. So Korowa is in, uh, they're an Australian distillery based in New South Wales. They are located down I guess towards the very southern end of the state. And this particular release is their Bosque Verde. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the pronunciation of that name, but um, yeah, that's <laughs> that's the best I can do at the moment. So, um, with in terms of say Corowa Distillery, I, Distillery, sorry, I'm getting all tongue-tied now. Um, I have reviewed a few other of their whiskey releases and I have set up a playlist for those with um, reviews so what I'm going to do I'll put up an info card up the top there and I'll put a, a link in the description box down below um, that way you guys can have access to my previous Korowa reviews and you can get on to watching those right after this one so um, get my my glass here and let's pour some of this. So the Bosque Verde is a an an, an an sorry <laughs> it is an NAS single malt as I mentioned from Corowa Distillery. Um, they have used American oak uh, yeah so American oak barrels for this which previously held Australian port. Um, so yeah it's a, a port um, finished whiskey and one thing I know for myself is that I love port cask um, finished whiskies, and the other fantastic thing for me about this release is that it is bottled at 46% ABV, and that say between 46 and 48, that's always like pretty much a sweet spot for me when it comes to um, just really enjoyable whiskies. I just love that ABV um, yeah I just love that ABV point so let's get on with the review and let's see what we get so on the nose okay so on the nose it's starting off quite similar to like a space to a, a space side scotch I'm getting apples pears some nice like grassy notes coming through the like freshly mown lawn and then after that that's where the the port cask starts to take shape so now I'm getting like that nice dense like fortified wine note that's absolutely beautiful touches of honey vanilla Touch of raspberry, so there's some nice like raspberry notes coming up through there. Some current, like say black currants. What else? There's something else there. That's it. So there's there's a very light amount of wood char and smoke that just come right at the very end of the of the whiskey so more so for the nose there um, it's very subtle you really need to search for it but I think once you find it it's definitely um, a noticeable note wow absolutely beautiful let me just point out that color again nice golden coppery note and even the like the legs on the glass is very thick um, just these slow legs just pouring down the glass it's absolutely beautiful okay let's get on with the palette and let's see what we get so cheers hmm fantastic mouthfeel nice and thick and syrupy oak dominant so it's very woody up front then you get these nice white pepper notes that come through barrel char smoke 
So again, those barrel char and smoky notes that were coming through ever so subtly on the on the nose are very prominent on the palate. I'm actually quite surprised to see how how contrasting that is to go from almost or say barely noticeable to extremely dominant. And then Once you get past that barrel char and the smoke, the fruits come through. Uh, so it just imagine like nice syrupy peaches, touch of mango. Again, as apples and pears are coming through. Nice touch of vanilla and honey. Man, there is just so much going on in this glass right now. I've tried say a few different releases from Korowa at the moment and they have all been absolutely outstanding whiskies so far. I think from the ones that I have reviewed so far this one definitely stands out as as being my favorite of the ones that I have reviewed so far. I do have one more to go um, so I'll be very interested to see how that compares to um, to this one and whether it knocks it out of the top spot but um, now say moving along to the finish it's just so pleasant very smooth very light it's actually quite refreshing you're getting every now and then some nice light hints of smoke that come through but the, again those um, I think that raspberry note that I picked up from the, the nose and then combining in with those apples and pears and the honey and vanilla and the honey and vanilla are just creating a very nice subtle finish. It's something that is not too dominant. It's just a very pleasant finish for a whiskey. Uh, I have to say this is just one of those whiskies that from beginning to end is just pretty much just perfectly well rounded. It is enjoyable at every stage and yeah I think that's um, that's it. It is just a perfectly well balanced whiskey. I mean this is something that is great for beginners and something you know, when I say beginners obviously uh, people that are, are just like coming into I guess uh, trying different whiskies and especially for those who are exploring the vast world of Australian whiskies unfortunately there's like a few whiskies out there that have been released that kind of have created this umbrella that uh, most Australian whiskies are these hot tannic messes and that is absolutely not true this whiskey is a perfect example of that this is so well rounded so so smooth, so easy to drink. It is just a absolutely fantastic and, and very enjoyable whiskey. And the other great thing, even though as good an entry level whiskey as this is, um, I believe that it is also one that is um, perfect for experienced, or well, say more experienced whiskey drinkers. You're just going to be able to pick out so much from it. It is just very very enjoyable I can't really stress that enough. So I Am NOT going to stress that anymore. I'm going to stop. I'll leave it at that um, If you're a returning um, viewer, thank you for joining me on my journey I appreciate having you here with me so so much and if you're new to the channel Then make sure you hit that bell notification and the subscription button so that you can stay up to date with all future content well guys, that's it. My name is Andrew and I will see you all again on the next video. Get this.